This is another reading in the book. The Daily Observations of a Fat Girl on Her Journey to Try and Lose Weight. Today is, we're reading from page 29. The chapter is entitled, Day 3. <clears throat> I'm in my office. I have been whittling through a to-do list and I am freezing. The heater has been blowing all morning, but it's 22 degrees outside. Last night, I couldn't stop watching stupid, stupid YouTube videos. I went from random Dr. Phil clips to old music videos. I know the second I put my phone down, my, my body will slide into sleep, but last night my mind was racing, and I just let it overrun any good sense I possessed. I finally just dropped my phone at about 1 a.m. and crashed. This morning, Antonio tried to quietly get ready for work without waking me up. He loves mornings. It's like the night clears away his cobwebs, and he wakes up unshackled by stress. He whispers, I love you, and squeezes me, all while try leaving the lights off so I won't wake up. I roll my eyes because the squeezing and the words generally do the trick. But he can't help himself, and I'm delighted by it more than annoyed. I once had a boyfriend tell me, <clears throat> when I asked if he loved me, I'll let you know if I change my mind. Antonio lets me know about 45 times a day. Sometimes I think it's just a comfortable home phrase. If he can't find the right words, he just says, I love you. I have learned to interpret between the different I love you's the same way Rocket Raccoon translates I am Groot. Sometimes I love you means I agree with the point you made about insert political topic. Sometimes I love you means you're annoying and critical, but I am going to try to love you in spite of being completely ticked off at you right now. Sometimes it means, you're a sexy lady, but most of the time, I love you means, thank you. It's kind of amazing being married to a man who communicates with his soul instead of his words. He feels things so deeply that his intention resonates from his whole person. He could say whatever random words he wants. His meaning is clear. He really wanted to sleep in a little bit this morning. Antonio usually walks to the track station, but I could hear him negotiating with the boy, trying to talk him into taking his daily meds and eating breakfast. He came in and whispered to me, I better leave now or I'm going to be late. I said, do you need me to drive you to the track station? He said, yes, and communicated with his eyes and tone, but I know you want to sleep. I said, it's fine. I'm up. I just need to throw on a dress. Can you please close the door? Our bedroom opens up onto the living room, and I didn't want to flash my body to the little boy. He closed the door but left the lights off. I giggled because he was still focused on not waking me up. I turned on the lights and threw on my dress. No pants, no bra, just an oversized cotton maxi dress. The best invention in fashion history next to leggings. A few minutes later, the three of us sat together on the couch with Antonio in the center. Calvin stared up at his dad and said, I'm going to miss you, Daddy. Antonio said, I'm going to miss you too, little bear. Calvin replied, I'll miss you more on Thursday, though. Thursday, he visits his grandma. Thursdays are hard on these two because they leave for school and work Thursday morning, but they don't see each other again until Friday night. It's a long time for little bear to be without his daddy bear, which is why he said, I'll miss you more on Thursday, though. The end. This has been a reading from The Daily Observations of a Fat Girl on Her Journey to Try and Lose Weight by Genesis Eve Garcia. And yes, I need to get my glasses tightened because they keep falling on my nose and it's really weird. And I hope you have a really good weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.